Hey guys, it's Carl. So I think most of you know that I use my 16 inch MacBook Pro as my daily. I'm always trying to find a Windows device to kind of compete with it. I truly think this brand new one from Samsung. So this is the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. This was released back in February at their Unpacked event, which I got to go to in San Francisco along with their S23 lineup. What makes this so good, it's the first Samsung laptop with a dedicated GPU and it's got some chunkiness. So this is really meant to compete with the MacBook Pro, especially the 16 inch, it has pretty much the same form factor. And you can see that it's packing internals on the inside because they're not sacrificing um, that chunky form factor. So you have a dedicated GPU, like I said. My model specifically has the 4050. Sadly, Canadians are stuck at that. If you live in the US, uh, you do get the RTX 4070. So if you are a gamer, that's the one that you wanna focus on. Not saying that this can't handle any gaming, but if you're really looking to get to optimize frame rates, something more than that 1080p resolution, you probably want uh, that 4070. But getting to uh, this laptop in general, the big benefit of this, and it really shines if you're already in the Galaxy or the Samsung ecosystem. So I'm rocking my S23 Plus. It's my preferred option. I like it better than the Ultra. I think it's just better value. It's got a flat screen. I won't go uh, too much into this, but I know a lot of you watched my Galaxy S23 Ultra video, both my uh, revisited one. When I got to go to Old Trafford, I'll leave that linked up this way, one of my favorite vids of the year. But if you are coming in with a Samsung device, it makes the experience so much better. So I know if you're on, say, Mac OS or using an iPhone, things like AirDrop, iMessage, those are pretty invaluable. If you bring your Samsung device close to the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, you get similar benefits with things like Quick Share. So I can take a quick photo here. If I just hit Quick Share, my PC pops up and in a couple seconds, just like AirDrop, I'm gonna get that image onto my PC. You can also do things like multi-control. So once again, my phone is next to my laptop and you can see here, I'm using the trackpad and I get my cursor appearing on the phone. I know that there's other options for uh, Windows and Android, but this is just the best one. It works and it really reminds me of things as simple like AirDrop. So that's definitely a huge bonus. And that's one of the main reasons why to get this uh, laptop in general. But overall, like I said, the form factor of this, it's got that 16 inch display, but it does feel lighter as well. It's actually lighter than that uh, 16 inch MacBook Pro, like I mentioned. I've traveled with both and the Samsung is just under four pounds, whereas the MacBook is pushing over that. Every little bit of weight helps, uh, especially when you're lugging around a laptop of this size. And you can see here from the form factor, very, very similar. I'd actually liken the weight of this laptop to uh, some 14 inch ones. Both have that dark gunmetal or a uh, space gray finish, but for whatever reason, I think it just might be because it's a bit darker. The Samsung picks up more fingerprints, not as bad as matte black laptops or say midnight over on Apple, but just uh, keep that in mind if you are a fingerprint stickler perhaps um, you might need to get a skin because uh, you definitely notice that a lot. The ports, which I'm a fan of, we've got HDMI 2.1, two USB-C 4.0 ports. One is Thunderbolt 4. And on the other side, we have a headphone jack, USB-A, which I'm always a fan of. Legacy devices still uh, kind of are kicking around. I'd still like to see one extra USB-C port on this side as well. And you do have a micro SD card slot. Once again, I'd prefer if that was full size, but I'm being uh, a bit nit. Picky. In terms of the overall build quality, it's solid from Samsung. So of course in uh, this aluminum finish, there is a slight bit of extra flex on the display. You can see here, it's not as tight as over on the MacBook. We've got a full keyboard with some nice clicky keys, really good for productivity. I actually prefer this over uh, the MacBook and you do have a full numpad, but on the flip side, the trackpad is now kind of off center. So you'll either uh, love or hate that. I know a lot of people love their uh, trackpads placed in the middle. Once again, very personal preference, but I love the size of the trackpad. Finally, Windows, Samsung is getting it. You want as large of a trackpad as you can. I would just love to see that kind of bumped over more in the middle. And once again, that numpad, great for productivity, great if you use it a lot, but I think the speakers on the flip end kind of struggle because over on the MacBook Pro, you've got those dedicated speakers on the side. You've got six speakers versus the four. I know that these are AKG tuned, but listening to music, listening to audio, watching a couple of movies on this, the sound experience on this is noticeably a bit more tinny, not as loud and doesn't have as much depth 
as the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which I think is still industry leading, but um, it's good, just not the best in class. Lastly, something just about the build, something about the design aesthetic, for whatever reason, Windows, I can't fault, I guess, Samsung for this. They still put these stickers on these laptops. I always try to tear these off, stick them on the back where they're just not as big of an eyesore. I know that it has the latest Intel Evo i7. I know that Intel probably pays a lot of money to have that sticker there. Same with Nvidia with their GeForce uh, 4050. Stick those on the back. I hate staring at PC stickers. That's once again, uh, my personal rant, which is over. But getting to the last part of the design, which is the display, which is my favorite part of this laptop. Once again, double-edged sword, because it's an OLED panel, you have the really nice uh, contrast ratios, the colors, the blacks look really good. I prefer it actually over the mini LED over on the MacBook Pro, but the reflectivity of it, you can actually see here on both cameras, my hand is quite apparent. And that's the same thing when you're using it. You you happen to see uh, the reflection of your face. It's just one of the things that I don't like. And I did think because it's a glass panel, I could actually use it as a touchscreen. Unfortunately, um, it is not. In terms of brightness, 500 nits peak brightness. If you're watching HDR content, normally 400. Um, unless you're outside using it, uh, you won't really notice the difference. But the display, it's gorgeous. Watching any sort of content on it looks great. And it's uh, my favorite thing of the device. And of course, on top, we do have a 1080p camera, which is nice, hidden into the thin bezel, which I like, and it looks um, half decent as well. And lastly, getting to uh, performance and battery life. So I mentioned my spec, it's got the i7, it's got the RTX uh, 4050, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. This thing is around 1700 US for whatever reason, Canadians get shafted again. This is just under $3,000. So $2,999, our conversion uh, is pretty crap I get at the moment, but uh, even if you take what 1.3, this is still um, a premium that you have to pay in Canada. So I guess the silver lining, right now there is a bit of a sale. You can get the one terabyte for the same price as the 512, but um, it's an expensive device and at that price point, I'd lean over to probably the MacBook still. The battery life, nowhere near as good, but performance, it still gets by. I tried to uh, edit uh, on this device with uh, Premiere, even though I typically am over on Final Cut, I managed to do it uh, just fine. Productivity, obviously great. I manage all my emails, all the content, content on the channel with this, but once again, unless I'm doing video editing, most of the stuff I do is probably overkill. Remember, this device is really beneficial if you're in that Samsung ecosystem. So if you've already got a Galaxy Ultra device, I think this laptop could be perfect. Hopefully you're just uh, not in Canada watching this, otherwise you'll have to pay a pretty penny, but a very solid laptop from Samsung. I love that they've got a dedicated GPU on this, and I think it's a very solid laptop, probably one of the better uh, Windows ones that we'll see this year. Just that extra little uh, Samsung tab that you gotta pay over top. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next ones. Peace.